Well, good morning, happy Tuesday to you. Welcome to my backyard. So glad to have you in one of my favorite places. Today, our theme is what does it mean to really be born again? And appropriately, I just had a very significant birthday over this last weekend and I had a surprise party. People flew in from Texas and Florida and drove distances from St. Louis and Iowa and I just felt so loved. And so very appropriately, we're talking about born again. What does that really mean? So I just want to give you some fun facts. If we were to be born again, going back to 1973, here's some fun facts. President Nixon was sworn in for the second term. The World Trade Center opened. Maybe some of you remember this. The US involvement in Vietnam War ended. They signed the Paris Peace Accord. Guess how much a house cost in 1973? These are things that we would want to go back for. $32,000. Wouldn't it be nice to buy a home for $32,000? I don't know how many cars you can purchase for $32,000 anymore. A first class stamp cost eight cents and a gallon of gas cost 39 cents. I do remember buying gas for under a dollar. I would have change and buy gas um, to fill up my car. So in those ways, certainly it would be nice to be born again, maybe to go back in time. But what did Jesus mean when he said this? He had this conversation with Nicodemus. It says in John 3, 3 and 4, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, Jesus speaking, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean, exclaimed Nicodemus? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Well, I'll tell you, the Greek word for born again that Jesus used could, could literally be translated as being born from above. And so Nicodemus, as a Jewish leader, he didn't understand why would he need to be born again, born from above. And so we get a picture of what Jesus was really meaning from this passage in Ezekiel 36. I'm going to start in verse 22. And the title of this is Restoration for Israel. And I'm going to paraphrase some of this. Um, but God says, Israel, you don't deserve it. But I will do this. I will restore you to protect my holy name, which you brought to shame. I will show you how great my name is. Then, this is God speaking, then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. Your filth will be washed away and you will no longer worship idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will take out your, your old, your stony, stubborn heart and I will give you a tender, responsive heart and I will put a new spirit in you. That's the kind of heart Jesus was talking about. That's what Jesus meant by being born again. So my question for you today is, what kind of heart do you have? Would you describe your heart with God or with others as being stony and stubborn? Or could your heart be described as tender and responsive? Well, the good news is because of God's great grace and love for us, you can be born again. And God has grace for you and his mercies are new every morning. Love you guys. Have a great day.